What's up? It's your boy Potato Aim. How are you all doing today? So, I always, you all. Sorry. No, but today we're gonna be talking about the magnificent. So, 13 reasons why. So before I just, uh, I don't have, I don't hate it. The show. It's just some of the premise and how they do it. Like, first of all, the drama scenes are horribly acted out and stretched out. Everything in this show is stretched out, including the whole thing. See, in the book, Clay listens to the tapes in one night. In the show takes them about two to three weeks. That isn't stretching out. They're also making a season two, which is a total new premise. Um, has nothing to do with the book. It's, it's totally separate from the book. Their own their own idea. So, it's wow. It's at this point I'm I'm baffled. Another thing I wanted to talk about is it's except for it's being stretched out and bad acting. It's glorified. Now, in the book, she um, she kills herself by overdose. But in the show, she slits her wrists and lets her bleed out into a bath. I know. It's just this is another next. This is another thing Netflix is doing just to stretch out and ruin a show. And that's what I hate. I like Riverdale. Riverdale was amazing. Not amazing, but it was a pretty good show. I liked it. I watched it a couple times. But 13 Reasons Why, not my favorite. I just did this review just because of the new season 2 coming out. I'll probably do some more. But that's all the time I got for now, kids. If you guys have enjoyed this video, remember to um, hit that like button. If you, didn't like, if you didn't like it, smash that like button. And go away, because I don't like you. <laughs> Bye.